see place in Vancouver, the final game of the season for the Whitecaps and the Rapids. Forward attack, Sebastian Fernandez comes in for Kudamani on the left-hand side. Look for him to cut in on that favored right foot. And up top, leading the line, Darren Maddox gets his first start in quite some time. He replaces Eric Rotatu, partners Marlon Harrison. And then up top for the Colorado Rapids, no to Sean Brown, he's on the bench today. So that means that Gabriel Torres leads the line. He partners Charles Alundu up top for the visitors. To just do their job, and if they can't beat Colorado at home on the final day of the season to get into the playoffs, they probably don't deserve it. They have to take care of business themselves. And we get underway here at BC Place. The Whitecaps taking on a Colorado side that has already beaten them here at BC Place this season. Rolls and lays the ball back to Petro Morales. Stephen Betashaw. Morales with the ball and Mattox with the header. Well worked by the Whitecaps, but Darren Mattox couldn't hit the target. It's a great ball in from Pedro Morales. He just wraps his foot around this. Good link play as well because he knows he's under a bit of pressure. Stephen Betashaw does well to get the ball back out to Morales. Look at the movement from Darren Mattox now. He gets in between the two central defenders. Little glancing header downwards to that back post just can't direct it on target it's a well-worked move though from the Vancouver Whitecaps C3 and Hairston and Cerna both 20 years of age and Rock is well for grandfather 29 the Sebastian Fernandez bit of space here Fernandez goes all the way and denied by Owen Mattox flips it inside but Armstrong brings it away Aston Cerner. Nice move by the Rapids down the left to Lundu now. Lundu with a shot and Ostead forced to make the save. It's a second Rapids corner. Well, he hasn't had much to do tonight, David Ostead, but this is what he's done for the Whitecaps all season long. Back four gets a little bit stretched. T.S. Lava gets caught diving in. Jordan Harvey can't get back. Cover. Lundu creates that angle for the shot up against Andy O'Brien. He tries to sneak it in the near post, but David Osted there to make a comfortable save. He's going in. Pedro Morales. Aradakubi. Mane on the left. Here is Kakuta Mane. Positive play from the youngster. That comes back out for Pedro Morales from distance. Good strike for Morales, gets a lot on it, but it's come a long way. Again, you see the influence of Kudamani driving at that back four when it comes to Morales. Sets his sight, but her winning goal gets... Morales, a crossfield ball to pick out Kudamani. Up against Armstrong, Mane cuts inside, still to Kudamani! And impact from Kakuta Mane off the bench. And a free kick for the Whitecaps for a foul by Alundu on Osted. Well, the instruction from Carl Robinson would have been, look, look, Kate, when you go on, get the ball, run at the fullback, cause problems. It's exactly what Kakuta Mane has done. The Colorado Rapids are in sixes and sevens at the back. They're having fits defensively because they can't deal with Mane's pace. Scoring from set pieces has been something that 
said he's had very little to do in the second half but when it mattered the ball falls to Torres a great strike to that far post David Osted moves across left sets himself he's ready gets down some server for the Vancouver Whitecaps he's led by example the last 10 games or so here's Clute Clute with the ball into the box come back Torres straight to Osted David Osted with the stop. And again, not enough pressure on the ball. The way Caps playing a risky game. But David Osted saved their bacon once again. Deep into stoppage time. It is over at BC Place. The White Caps needed the win. They got it. The White Caps are into the postseason. Kendall Waston with the only goal of the game. And Carl Robinson into the playoffs in his first year as a head coach. Job done.